What's up, guys? Just wanted to do a quick little mail day. Uh, to be completely honest, I already opened up the mail, as you can see. Um, I kind of jumped the gun, but eh, I figured I'll do a quick little video on it, right? It doesn't hurt. Uh, it came well packaged, a little cardboard here. Also, obviously, came in this little top loader. Lots of tape on it, so... It's actually nice that I, I can show you the card clean and I'll have to like try to open it <clears throat> um, for you guys to see like me struggling. Um, so this is the card that I got. It is a uh, Sergei Berzin card from 2000, sorry, 99, 2000 Topps Gold Label. Uh, Gold Label is a very interesting set in terms of, um, I don't know how high end it was back then. It was probably like upper... Not super high end, but probably like upper mid. Again, I when this came out, I was like eight, so I'm not I'm not gonna lie and say I'm the most knowledgeable. Well, ah, I can't even speak knowledgeable person. Um, when this set came out or on this set, uh, that's not my expertise. I guess a couple years later, maybe I know a little bit more. Uh, but these are really nice cards, as you can see, very shiny. Well, it looks like uh, like refractors from, you know, Topps Chrome, and everyone loves Chrome and Prism nowadays, um, which they did make these years as well, but it's just a different set from Topps. Um, this is the, the red parallel, so there's different classes. So, um, again, <clears throat> just from, like, a very quick search and just from the knowledge I already have, every player has a card that's Class 1, and then there's another variation, Class 2, Class 3, so every player, and there's different subsets and everything, but every player has, I would assume every player has at least three cards. Then there's other variations, like there's the there's the base card, there's the black version, uh, there's the red version, there's like one-on-ones and stuff. So it's a little complex, to, so if you want to look into it, sorry, I'm just scrolling through my, uh, something caught my eye over here. Um, if you want to do a little research on the set, go ahead. You know, it's always nice to be informed. I probably should have done a little more research, to be honest. But um, very nice cards, as you can see. This one is the red, like I said. Uh, class 1, so you can actually see that. Um, hopefully it shows properly. Class 1. And this is the red version, like I said. So it's numbered out of 100. So you can see 87 of 100. Um, yeah. Very nice card. Uh, I try to pick up uh, Bears and cards whenever I can. Um, he has a lot of old cards, a lot of nice cards. Um, I really liked him as a kid. So, you know, if something pops up that's a little rare, like inserts parallels. He doesn't have a lot of autographs, but he has a couple, a couple patches. I'll try to pick it up. If it's cheap, if it's expensive, obviously, I kind of refrain from doing so. But, yeah, this is a really nice card. Bought this off eBay. Um... And the seller is also on a Hobby Insider, which is a uh, forum, hockey forum that I use probably the most. Um, yeah, I wish I had more to say, but really nice card. You can see my <clears throat> my setup back here. Uh, this was pre-planned maybe two minutes ago. <laughs> uh, this Allen Ginter I still had sitting here, so I just say hey, let me just use it as a background, and then I have to scan. There's a couple of Portugal stickers here to scan, so. There's Ronaldo on the front of that one, and uh, yeah, so I'm like, oh, let me pretty it up a little bit, right? Uh, well, that's it, just one card, but it's a really nice one, I really enjoy it. Um, let me know, if... I have tons of cards, tons of collections, let me know if you guys want to see anything, I could show off some of my collections, I don't know, I don't know if people are into that, um, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing box breaks and stuff, gingerly, and uh yeah, thanks for watching. These are really shiny, really nice to look at. Let me know if you have any questions or any feedback. Take care.